Hello, back at ya. This is Mama Roxy coming back at you today with some good talk. Well, about me, I'm a little under the weather. You see, my fibromyalgia and lupus is acting up, and it has the palm of my hands swollen, and I can barely use them. You see how big they are? But that's okay. I spent, I've been with all four of my children today. And that was nice because usually I'm always missing one. But today I was with all four of them. And I have four, I have seven grandchildren, four children. My oldest is 30. My, my, my daughter is 26. My other daughter is 24. My son, my youngest son is 21. And I have seven grandbabies. That's about me, yes. So I enjoyed my day today, no matter what. I did get out, fix myself up. It was pink day because it was so nice outside. Y'all know I love pink, so pink is every day. But I'm back at you all with a little conversation today. And I got it off of my uh, my uh, email. And someone to ask me to talk about a threesome. And uh, what the situation was is I, I've, I, Roxy, have never had one before. And I have known so many people that have. And I've only known, see, have I known 20 something people? And I think maybe out of five of them, only good things happen after. I mean, the whole process was good. But afterwards, they didn't like it. I mean, so much stuff happened afterwards. It was like crazy mad, you know? And uh, my first one, the lady asked me, well, what she told me was, her husband asked for a threesome. And she had had one in her younger years that didn't turn out right and she was kind of scared not to give him what he wanted and she was afraid not to um to tell him that she had had one before and it didn't turn out good so she asked me to talk about a threesome and I started to explain to her well I've never had a threesome myself but I've known plenty of people who have and only five of them talk about how everybody talks about how good it was and how exciting it was and how intense it was and this happened and that happened and they had the wildest time right but afterwards become the problem when you sitting in the house and your husband or your woman is there and you start to look at that funny like you spent more time doing her, whatever you was doing to her, or eating her, or orally pleasuring her, than you did with me. What's that about? Or, you orally pleasured him more than you've ever done me, and you was doing a better job at it. I'm like, what did you say? She was like, it wasn't like that. It was to the fact that it was something new. They were excited. They had been drinking. And it was just fun. And, and it, you know, so he was like, she was like, so why did you do the lady like that? She was like, he was like the same thing. He was like, it was just something new. And we was having such a ball at it. I didn't want you to think I didn't want to or, or, or I didn't want to participate. So the lady told me, an associate of mine, I asked her I talk about this. But anyway, and uh, what had happened was we were out and we were talking about this. And a man came over and he had tears in his eyes, right? And and we was like, what's the matter? And he said, well, can I sit down and talk to you, to you ladies? And I said, why not? So he just started to talk. And he started to explain that 
his wife had wanted, his wife wanted the threesome. And she wanted a threesome with another man. It would be her husband and another man. So they waited a week about it. They waited for a week. And then they finally started to, to you know, talk about it, go through the process. And they got on the line, on the phone line. And they started talking to a man on the phone line that kind of fit the descriptions that she described of what she wanted. So the man finally came. He came maybe like a week before, you know, the process of the sexual thing started. And they met each other and they liked each other and they talked and they kicked it and they had fun with each other. So finally that night came. So I'm sitting there and I got my little drink with my little straw. I'm like, okay. <laughs> then he says, finally that night came. They all ate and they drunk together. They had wine and they got a little tipsy. He say, and then the man, they all decided to go in the room. And he say, uh, the lady is orally pleasuring uh, the man and the husband is hitting her from the back. You know what I'm saying? And she liked that. And then she told the man that she was ready to switch. So it went around and, you know, the husband had the front part and the man had the back and then this here. So the man say all of a sudden, as he was early pleasing, I mean, you know, messing with the wife, hitting the wife and he got her legs on the shoulders or whatever. The man uh, got up from her and came around and pushed him and her down on the bed, you know, pushed him. Put his hands on his back. She said he was kind of a buff man. And he pushed him down and held him down. And he started fucking, can I say that? Should I say that word? But having sex with both of them. So the guy said he was fighting for a minute. And then he said all of a sudden he started to enjoy himself. You know, he laid there and no. Uh, the, the, he was hitting the wife and doing whatever to the wife and hitting him. And he said he spent more time on him than he did his wife. So when everything was all said and done, the man left. He said everybody went in there and they took their little showers and they get ready to go in there and they sit down. And he said the wife just started looking at him funny. She said for a whole week, he, she would walk past him and say a couple of words to him, give him a little kiss on the cheek. But ever since that night, he never looked at her the same. She never looked at him the same. She was like, you know, and then when he asked her, he was like, do you think I'm not a man because of, you know, what happened or because I didn't fight back anymore? Or and then he asked her, he said, well, she said. You made more noise than I did. You was more pleasured than I was. And he looked at her, you know, he, he, she said he gave her this look like, so what are you saying? She was like, I, I think that you, 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 you liked it too much. I, I didn't expect for him to do, be doing you. So he asked her, what was the difference if it would have been the other way around and a woman had been in the play and she was all on you and you were all on her, how would I supposed to look at it? She couldn't say anything. And he asked me, you know, what, what, what would you think? And I told her, I told him my point of view. If you really wanted to know. And he said yeah. So I told him. I say listen. When a woman marries a man. He like that father figure. He's strong. He independent. He helpful. He loving. He, he hers. You know what I'm saying. He, and, and you don't think about him being with another man. So. So she said, he said, what you saying? I said, well, he's not going to 
she's not going to look at you the same after this. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yes. You asked me the truth and I'm telling you. She is not going to never look at you the same. Nothing is going to be the same. So he was like, what can I do? I say, talk to her. Talk to her and see what she wants to do. He said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try. He said, but I, be I love her so much and I did everything for her. I was like, baby, that's why you got to talk to her. And you got to figure out for yourself what about that. What, what's going to happen with you guys? That's all, that's all you can do. He says, you're right. But on the other note, I talked to other people that have had threesomes. 